The Israeli military released camera drone footage on Thursday said to show the last moments of Hamas leader Yehya Sinwar's life. In a room wrecked by shelling, a man is sitting in a chair, his face covered with a cloth, possibly to hide his identity. The video shows the man, with one wounded hand, throwing a stick at the drone. The military then fired an additional shell at the building, causing it to collapse and killing Sinwar, military spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Haggery said. He said Sinwar was found with a bulletproof vest, grenades, and 40,000 shekels. Some of Sinwar's DNA had previously been found in tunnels near where troops found the bodies of six hostages at the end of August, Haggery said. The military believes weeks of searches in the area had pushed Sinwar to come out of hiding, he said. The military said three militants were killed in the operation. Police said one of them was confirmed as Sinwar by dental records, fingerprints and DNA tests. Sinwar was imprisoned by Israel from the late 1980s until 2011, and during that time he underwent treatment for brain cancer, leaving Israeli authorities with extensive medical records. Israeli leaders celebrated his killing as a settling of scores just over a year after Hamas-led militants killed some 1,200 people in Israel and kidnapped 250 others in an attack that stunned the country. They also presented it as a turning point in the campaign to destroy Hamas, urging its fighters to surrender and release some 100 hostages still in Gaza. Israeli forces in Gaza killed Hamas top leader Yehya Sinwar, a chief architect of last year's attack on Israel that sparked the war, the military said Thursday. Troops appeared to have run across him in a battle, only to discover afterwards that a body in the rubble was the man Israel has hunted for more than a year. Sinwar has topped Israel's most wanted list since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war just over a year ago, and his killing strikes a powerful blow to the militant group. There was no immediate confirmation from Hamas of his death. The military confirmed Sinwar's death after conducting DNA tests on a body it said was among three militants killed Wednesday during operations in Gaza. Foreign Minister Israel Katz called Sinwar's killing a military and moral achievement for the Israeli army, saying it would create the possibility to immediately release the hostages. Defense Minister Yov Gallant addressed Hamas fighters, saying it is time to go out, release the hostages, raise your hands, surrender. Sinwar was one of the chief architects of Hamas' attack on Israel on October 7, 2023, and Israel has vowed to kill him since the beginning of its retaliatory campaign in Gaza. He has been Hamas' top leader inside the Gaza Strip for years. An Israeli security official said it appeared that the man who turned out to be Sinwar was killed in a battle, not in a planned targeted airstrike. Photos circulating online showed the body of a man resembling Sinwar with a gaping head wound, dressed in a military-style vest, half buried in the rubble of a destroyed building. The security official confirmed the photos were taken by Israeli security officials at the scene. The Israeli news site N12 said Sinwar appears to have been killed by chance in a battle on Wednesday. Sinwar was imprisoned by Israel from the late 1980s until 2011, and during that time he underwent treatment for brain cancer, leaving Israeli authorities with extensive medical records. President Joe Biden has been briefed on Israel's investigation into whether it killed Sinwar. Sinwar was chosen as Hamas's top leader in July after his predecessor, Ismail Haniyeh, was assassinated in an apparent Israeli strike in the Iranian capital Tehran. Israel has also claimed to have killed the head of Hamas military wing Mohammed Deif in an airstrike, 
but the group has said he survived. 